this is one of the electrowell brand 3 kva bensa blade butt welder on this you can weld 5 mm to 25 mm wide 0 0.8 to 1.2 mm thick carbon steel blades now we will show you the parts of the machine this over here is the shearing attachment on this you can cut the blade at right angles before butt welding this one is a current selector switch depending upon the width of the blade you can increase or decrease the current this one here is the annealing high and low switch for different widths this high is for annealing blades from 15 to 25 mm wide and the low current is for welding 5 mm to 15 mm wide carbon steel blades annealing this over here is the annealing push button for annealing the blade this over here is a guide for cutting the blade at right angles you can touch the blade like this and then cut the blade by this lever you shall see the blade has been cut exactly at right angle this over here is a pressure adjustment lever for bigger width blades you can increase the pressure from 1 mm to number 5 and this over here is the gap adjusting lever that increases the gap between the two welding jaws these are the blade clamping levers this one here is the burr grinding attachment and this is the on off switch for the grinding attachment now we will show you the butt welding of 20 mm wide bensa blades first we have cut the blade exactly at right angle on the shearing arrangement we will show you once again how to cut we can put the blade in the shearing arrangement and touch this side also so that when you cut the blade it cuts exactly at right angles now see the blade has been cut exactly at right angles to the edge now to clean the blades with MD paper to remove any rust, dirt or oil similarly on this side also you remove the dirt, rust or oil then you can adjust the current say for 20 mm with blade keep it at number 4 like this pressure lever again you keep it at number 4 like this and the gap between the two jaws coincide this pointer at number 2 over here now you can clamp the blade to be welded one at a time first you clamp on the left side like this see that you touch the back stopper and again this side you clamp 
like this. See that blade is fully clamped and the joint is in the center of the welding jaws. Now you can press this welding lever fully till the welding current gets cut off just like this. Now the welding current is over, blade is welded, you can release the lever, then declamp the blade, take this welding lever to annealing side so that gap is increased between the two jaws for annealing. Now you clamp the lever once again like this so that the welded joint is in the center of the two welding jaws. Now you can take this switch to high position, press this push button, you will see the annealing taking place. See the reddish tinge appears, it means the blade is annealed. You can release the push button, declamp the blade. You will see the blade has been welded properly. Now to remove the burr, you can do the grinding and the grinder provided over here by switching on this switch and grinding the burr like this. Now see the blade is welded properly, you can use for the cutting machine. Now once again we will show you the butt welding of 20mm wide bensa blades. First we have to cut the blade exactly at right angles by inserting the blade like this in the shearing arrangement and then with this lever you can cut the blade you can see this has been cut exactly at right angle similarly you cut another blade like this touch like this then cut the blade with this lever you will see this also has been cut exactly at right angles. Then you clamp the blade by adjusting this lever to number 2 at the scale over here. Insert the blade in the welding jaw. <coughs> clamp the blade <coughs> fully. Again Clamp the blade this side with this lever. See that it is fully clamped and the weld should appear to be done in the center of the two welding jaws. Now again you can depress this lever till the welding is completed. Don't leave the dealer in between. Now you can release the lever. Since the weld is over, declamp the blade. Take this welding lever towards the side so that the gap between the two jaws 
increases then again clamp the blade in the center like this then press the push button for annealing you will find the heat will flow through the welded joint see this is now annealed you can release the push button now you can take out the welded joint this will appear like this now you can grind the burr like this This is how the blade is welded. Now you can use the blade on a cutting machine. Thank you. This over here is a troubleshooting chart where, supposing the machine does not weld the blade properly. Problem is mentioned, cause is mentioned, remedy is given over here. So you can set the machine right by reading this chart. In case you find any more difficulty, you can contact our office. Thank you. To help you better, we will show you the welding chart over here where the table is given for different widths of the blades to be welded the current tap number to be used the pressure tap to be used and the gap between the two jaws to be used after reading this table you can set the parameters like current pressure and the gap in the two jaws. Then you can also read the instructions given over here as to how to use the machine for welding blades and then unling blades. This front portion chart will definitely help you use the machine properly.